He said, listen, I'm fine. And don't forget, you told me to do this. <laughs> I'm at a party and my designated driver had too much to drink. And me and my friends need you to come pick us up. I said, Jesus Christ, it's one o'clock in the morning, nigga. <laughs> I am shit faced. <laughs> <laughs> And this is when I knew I was old. I, I just gave up in the middle, like nothing even happened. Was... Valiant, it was a valiant effort. <laughs> what famous movie actor would play your d- in a movie? <laughs> oh God, I have no idea. Uh, Chris Hemsworth, for sure. Chris Hemsworth's got to be, right? Well, his hammer, at least. <laughs> the... Actually, it's more like the hammer that you use to like, <clears throat> hang up pictures. And... That would be Peter Dinklage. Peter Dinklage. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Billy Collins. Matt do, 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 J. And this is Magician. And the Jock. Reaction time, guys. We have a lot of people asking for us to do Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle. And this is this is a topic. I've told you this exact same thing. I've had this exact same realization about myself, mm-hmm. and that is. What is it? The name of the video. So that was, I just said you, set you up. My dick looks like Morgan Freeman. And sounds like Gilbert Gottfried. <laughs> <laughs> let's do it. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, see what his dick looks like. Ended up having breakfast together. <laughs> I'll grow up. That doesn't make me gay. I just titty fucked them. His titties are as real as any titties in their lap. It's two o'clock in the morning. I was just borrowing a little friction from a stranger. Whoops! It's the madness of youth. It's the types of mistakes that a man makes when he's young. I wouldn't even know that it's necessarily a mistake. It was a wild night out. But I don't do it like that anymore. I'm old. I'm 44 now. Right. It's the first time in my life I've ever like started to physically feel my age. You can. It's tough, man. Mm-hmm. You know how I know I'm getting old? This is embarrassing, but I was in my hotel room. I was. I'm not gonna lie. I was jerking off like, <laughs> and I was like really sweating it out. <laughs> and this is when I knew I was old. I, I just gave up in the middle, like nothing even happened. Valiant, it was a valiant effort. <laughs> so I'm with him. I don't like looking at my dick anymore. <laughs> my dick looks distinguished. It's old, an old looking dick. It's got salt and pepper hair all around it. My dick looks like Morgan Freeman in the 90s. Uh. Without the dots. Without the dots. <laughs> My dick narrates, and Dave pulled me out and started jerking me around and jerking me around. Oh, my God. But not with the same vicars when he was young. <laughs> he and I both knew nothing was coming out. <laughs> Andy Dufresne. <laughs> what famous movie actor would play your dick in a movie? <laughs> oh, God, I have no idea. Uh, Chris Hemsworth, for sure. Chris Hemsworth's got to be, right? Well, his hammer, at least. <laughs> the, Actually, it's more like the hammer that you use to like, <coughs> hang up pictures. And it's like I guess, really I, small. guess I would be Peter Dinklage. Peter Dinklage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see my age and my children. This is not long ago. I have been gone for a few pictures. I was gone for weeks and weeks. And when I came back, uh, nobody was home. Now, one person in my family thought that... Uh, Maybe I'd like to see them when I got back. Like <laughs> they knew when I was coming back, but they just weren't they just weren't home. And that shit was a wake up call. It was welcome home. You know, like when my kids were little and the tour bus would pull up to the house, these motherfuckers would spill out. <laughs> Dad is home. Hooray! <laughs> and they'd hug me and kiss me, and then as the years went on, they'd get less interested. Hey everybody, look, it's Mr. Promises back from the road. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Promises? <laughs> But empty house, that's, that's some cold shit. <laughs> and I went into my oldest son's room. I was like, hello, hello. He was gone. And I'd never done this thing before, but for some reason I just did it. I just, I just looked through his shit. 
just to see who this motherfucker was becoming. And I found these notebooks and I started going through the notebooks and there was all this wonderful poetry in them. Written as his handwriting. I didn't even know this nigga wrote poems. It's a good camera. And then I looked through his drawers and I opened up his middle drawer and I found this rolling paper. And I looked down at them papers like, oh, that's where that poetry's coming from. <laughs> This is what young Jock would call high ideas. <laughs> like, this is going to change the world. And that shit broke my heart. I mean, I smoked weed, but I mourned my son's innocence. Mm. And I cried a little bit. And I took his papers upstairs to my room. <laughs> Rolled some weed that I'd hid from the family. <laughs> and I got really high. And then I got paranoid. <laughs> So I put his papers back how I found them. Oh, <laughs> my God. So he wouldn't know what I was up to. This nigga won't even know that that happened until he sees his special. <laughs> Dead nigga, I found your papers. He's a cold motherfucker. Let me tell you, this kid is only 16 years old. Listen to what he did to me. This motherfucker calls me up in the middle of the night. It was 1 o'clock in the morning. He goes, Dad, don't be mad. I knew something was... Terribly wrong. I said, what's going on? He said, listen, I'm fine. And don't forget, you told me to do this. <laughs> I'm at a party, and my designated driver had too much to drink. And me and my friends need you to come pick us up. I said, Jesus Christ, it's 1 o'clock in the morning, nigga. I am shit-faced. <laughs> <laughs> And I figured, fuck, it's better me than some kid. <laughs> I might as well roll the dice and go pick my nigga up. I said, all right, I'm coming to get you. Just give me the address and I'll be right there. Then he gave me the address and I was, I was shocked. I said, son, you are not going to believe this, but I'm at the same party. <laughs> So they grow fast, don't they? <laughs> Can I ask you a weird question? I don't want to make you feel uncomfortable. You don't have to answer it, and if it doesn't go well, we'll just edit it out anyway. That would be a good setup for uh, yeah, <laughs> what actor would play your dick in a movie. I mean, it's so good. The thing about Dave Chappelle, his delivery is like he he's a great story. That, I'm finding like the more we watch these videos of comedians, the good ones that we kind of relate to mm -hmm. is they're great at their timing and also their storytelling they're just funny yeah they, yeah. Can, they can recount i don't know go go into a grocery store there's just anything it's really funny joey diaz is another one just yeah. like that um man what was how he? many times have you like gone gone ham on something on and just said yeah i'm just tired <laughs> never man <laughs> i'm a lot older than you Love chicks. Chicks love me, so it's all good. Calm down, Lance. But no, there was a part in there that was kind of sentimental when, <coughs> when he was talking about, um, like, mourning your child's innocence. Like, my, you know, Jackson yeah. turned five, and I'm like, damn, dude, when'd you turn into, like, a little human? I know. It's Speaking like, in full sentences, like, doing got, stuff. got home today. I'm like, man, where you at, little buddy? He's in his room just Chilling. building, be, like, being self-sufficient. I mean, it's... Well, it comes wow. to a point where they actually don't need you, then it becomes. Well, I mean, or, always, or when you they feel do, like you're always gonna, they're always gonna. Or they only need you when it's like shit's hit yeah. the fan, like right. Like they should have said, I yeah. need a driver. Yeah. So, what do you guys but, think? What What was the moment that uh, number one? He talked about a few things. When you first felt like you were old, mm -hmm. I had to go to Walmart today and get a bag of uh, charcoal, and I swear I pulled my groin just walking across Walmart. <laughs> I'm like, I need to go to the phone roller section. I'm thinking, what in the hell is going on? But when did you first feel old? And uh, when, uh, when, what was something that happened that made you mourn your child's innocence, loss of innocence or whatever? You know, youth, yeah. So, and also do us a favor. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Smash the like button. And we'll see you on the next video. Peace.